Hello everyone and welcome to Carol's Art Tech. This is Bill and today we're going to go ahead and add a keyboard to Windows 10. Now if you look on the lower right hand side you see that I have an ENG and that ENG of course means English. I also have the French, the Korean keyboard on here and today we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the French keyboard because, well, I took French in high school and who knows, maybe I might remember something, maybe I may not. I have Korean on here because I can write Korean, I can read Korean to a very, very limited extent, but yeah, that's not what we're going to discuss here today. So let's go ahead and pull up our notepad just so we have that set up. And minimize that here real quick. But let's go ahead and pull up our language preferences. So from here, we're going to go down to the Windows Start menu, click on that. Click on the settings gear here on the far right hand side. That again, it's right over here on the left. And there we go, it's a little gear on the far left up from the power button. Now from here, we're gonna click on language and time, which is usually right in the dead center. And on the left hand side, you see we're gonna have date and time. In fact, what pulls up first is date and time. And the second option is region and language. So pull up re region and language, and of course it has your country, your language preferences, and then the languages you currently have installed. And like I said before, I have English and Korean, but we're gonna add French. So if we click on add a language, it pulls us up and we'll type in French. And there we go, we have several different kinds of French, but we wanna choose France French. So click next, and click on install. I permission. I give it permission. It, it uh, downloads it. It installs it. And now we're going to close that window. And if we go over here to the lower right hand side, you'll see that our French is now on there. Now, if we go back to this and we just go ahead and type something on the QWERTY keyboard. This is A on my US English keyboard. It comes up as a Q. E comes up as an E, Z, W comes up as a Z. So now you can go ahead and you can go ahead and type in French if that's something you can do. It looks like my French is far worse than I remember. Um, I want to thank you for viewing this video. If you like it, be sure to share and subscribe. And you guys have a wonderful day.